Hey, what's up family? We're here, KBG Welding, and I wanted to talk about estimating. Estimating bidding jobs. So we're working on a couple projects here and we're having to get pricing. So we've already done the work, but now it's we gotta get the get down to the nuts and bolts of what we need what we need to provide for a couple of projects. One a railing project, one's a one's a fence, a custom fence project. So when we're when you're dealing with uh, estimating, you need to recognize uh, the sizes or the lengths that material comes in. The fence that we're going to be working on, we're going to initiate today. <clears throat> the uh, sizes one by two are most of the materials one by two. Now, a little side note on that: on the one by two, I need you to understand that the the gauge of the material matters a lot because if you just go with the lightest available, which is going to be the cheapest available. You're going to get some, you're going to get some sags. You're going to get some, you know, some, uh, some dips in there and you don't want that. You don't really want that. It's, it's going to be visible. So, uh, you need to make sure for whatever you're doing, whatever application you're using, you need to make sure you're using the correct thickness or a proper thickness so that it doesn't waver. You don't get, um, uh, get any waves, um, in the finished product. So, um, uh, and then there's some other things that we can get into as far as the, the build, but we'll do that when we're actually putting it up. We can, uh, we'll talk about that. So <clears throat> what you, what we need to do again is we have to get to the point of what, 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 uh, links does this material come in? Because if you need a, like I need a, a stretch of 32 feet of some plate on this project, but I know that this plate only comes in 10 foot increments, 10 or 20 foot increments. So I have to charge them for that extra eight foot in order to cover my costs. I can't charge them for just the 32 because that's not something that we have on hand. Otherwise I'm gonna have to eat that cost. Now will we be able to use it more than likely, but we don't wanna have to pay for that you know, laying around for a little bit, or if they want it, they can have it. So, uh, so those are things that we want to do because some tube, most tubing comes in 12s and 24s. Uh, if you get the longer lengths, you can get 48s, you can get 40s, you can get, uh, so they, they come in variations. Um, if you're getting it from a local shop, you're going to get it in 12s and 24s when it comes to the tubing. Some places I believe offer a 20 foot version. Um, but most of the flat bar, most of the uh yeah most of the flat bar and the angle iron those come in 10 foot increments so uh 10 foot and uh 20 foot so knowing that and trying to lay that out when you're when you're uh you're planning your layout you're planning your build and you're getting your material list together is uh is pretty key to keep your keep your cost down because you want to be as efficient as you can um, because it's competitive, uh, we're we're not in a, a you know we don't have a monop monopoly out here. There's a lot of guys that are a lot of companies that are hey out here trying to get the work. So um, we're getting multiple bids for jobs. If you just throw an outrageous number at it, um, you probably won't get the job. Um, so you just want to consider that. So that's the tip of the day, KBG Welding. Uh, welding business welding tips um that's what i just wanted to share with share that and run that by you to keep that in mind on your estimating and don't forget paint and the other things that go into that and if you got to do paint prime whatever cover that in your in the proposal or in your estimate all right kbg welding serving god burning rods hope that helps out like share subscribe all that